what they were going to do on the continental United States to all the people. And this is not just in the United States. This is a global planned attack and assault with technologies beyond most people's comprehension. And my source in Washington, D.C., he is also very supportive of this. He wants the information out. So that's exactly what I'm doing, and I need this to go viral. I need people to get this and spread this around. I, honestly, it's for selfish reasons, for the safety of my family. Because what I'm revealing here is classified. I was told something from one of my sources last week. And he told me something that is just absolutely terrifying. It made me absolutely sick to my stomach as he described to me a very, very highly classified government project that is ongoing and that affects every man, woman, and child in this country. People need to know what is going on. He also sent me some documents, he faxed them to me, that verify everything he said. There are some white papers from the Department of Defense, from the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, known as DARPA, also from Naval Intelligence. There's also a document from the CIA. And I've looked over them, and I've... I've, I've familiarize myself with them very very carefully what that information is is this In 1995 our government commissioned a project to place into the public water supply into the into the public food distribution system a a very small device, a, a nano-sized device with a microprocessor. It is an electronic device, and it is about the size of one or two grains of sand. It, it, it took years to develop, but they developed it, they've perfected the technology, they've tested it. And as of today, According to their estimates, 85% of the population has one of these devices inside of their bodies. Now these, you could say you're infected in other words. You have been infected with one of these devices. They're incredibly small, they can barely be seen with the naked eye, they have to be removed from the medium that they are suspended in, it could be food, it could be water, but if you take it out and if you put it on a table, preferably a, a black surface, and you look at it, it you're going to be able to see it. It's very hard, it's opaque, 
But let me put it this way, you'd never know it was there. If you've consumed it, which you probably have, as I said, 87% of the population has one of these in their bodies, right, as presently, as, as the military has estimated. <sighs> okay, so what is it? Why did the military develop this device and put it in the water supply and try to basically infect the entire U.S. population with it? Well, it's a very simple device, folks. It is designed to kill you. It is designed to terminate you. That's what it does. It's very simple. It doesn't really do anything else. Now, how does it kill you? It goes something like this. It is, again, the size of a grain of sand or so, a little bit bigger. It is a nano device that contains a microprocessor contains a receiver and it, rec it can receive a uh, transmission radio transmission once it receives this radio transmission which is very specific and can all it, it's it's something it's a let me put it this way it is a frequency that is only our military uses and only knows about it's not going to just be randomly activated while you're walking down the street. Uh, so it's activated by this signal. Now how do they do it? Well, their cell towers cover 98% of this country in terms of coverage. Cell towers, radio towers. In addition to that, our military has uh, spent about five years setting up proprietary system, excuse me, that of coverage, not in addition to the cell towers. So what they've done in any large population center, they have installed transmitters, uh, very small, and they're in strategic locations. They cover every block of every large city and even small cities, and this has been set up over the past five years. The reason they want to do that is they want to be able to target these populations very specifically in a very small locality.